Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. I am finally back with people and I have a lot to talk about, a hell of a lot and um, yeah it's been a long time coming hasn't it. So today is a whip and chat um, but first of all I have got to pick what pen and what tray I'm going to use and I have now got a pegboard in front of me where everything is super duper obvious and I can just pick what I'd like to use and all of my pens now have their stainless steel tips and stuff on them so I can do that. So this was a pen I got in uh, a Diamond Art Club order and it has a six place on it so I have not used is it placey yet? This is the first one. I've got two of them. Um, so let's let's give that a go. And um, tray wise, I'm not going to try and match it to my painting. The pen kind of matches, um, but I'm just going to go for pink. I think. Um, so um, take the lid off. I don't actually know if this one has, because I usually get ones that are a bit. Um, what's the word? Have a little printing defects, so this one does have a little bit of a bump on it, but nothing to stop the trays from using people, it's just a pretty thing. Um, so <clears throat> let me just get out everything, get out my colours and whatnot, and I can start. So I'll keep it like this for the time being, um, and I might zoom in, however. I might zoom out, I don't know, um, to be fair, I haven't even pulled this in, give me a second. <laughs> oh, okay, so I don't actually think a person can be less with it than I am right now, um, I'm all over the place, I don't have a clue what I'm doing, so I actually need to put wax in my pen, so I use the pink wax um, in the pot for my multi-placer so I'm just going to run it in my pot <clears throat> and this is the uh, Diamond Art Club pink wax so I've popped that in and then in the single placer I use the um, it's so hard to see when the white's on the uh, wax gem from Pretty Places. So, for the, for the wax gem, I just kind of squish it down a little. Um, and then make the rest of it into a mound on the top. But if you squish it down, then you know it's getting in there and you won't have to do it as much. But who knows? Right, so today I'm going to zoom you in a bit again because I've accidentally zoomed you out. Um, that's a bit better. Um, so we'll do T first to start with if I can find it, which is here. I don't have a lot of this left in the pot, but I do have um, extras. So I love my trays, how how well they line them up. Um, when you do first like get um, one of our, if you do have one of our trays, um, when you first get them, they can sometimes like <coughs> be a bit a bit rough around the edges, so to speak. Um, what I mean in terms of like the the drills can you know find it a bit hard to get out at first but the more that you use it the the looser they become and the easier it is but if if we don't do that then the more use you have out of it then they end up being too loose so we make it a little bit tighter at first, and that's with everything, the lid, the stopper, everything. But anyway, this video is not about my trays. 
you all want to know what's going off, don't you? Um, so, I did put a few videos out like a couple of weeks ago and then um, <clears throat> another video came out, another few video, what am I saying? So, I put some videos out a little while back. Uh, that was unboxings um, and this was a few weeks ago and then I s that there's been no more videos since again so people thought I was back so I do apologise because I wasn't 100% back but what had happened so <coughs> if you go right back to my last video um, that I did before that little weird I put out like four videos in a row and then stopped again. If you go right back before that, I was still in my old house. So that is why um, there was videos regularly being done because I was, well, they weren't even regular at that point. Um, but essentially, when I we well when we bought the house, so this is September slash October time. At first, I was still on it. You were probably aware I was still doing whipping charts, and I was telling all you guys about the progress that we were making with the house, etc., etc. All these diamonds are stuck together. Um, and then suddenly I got less frequent, and things weren't coming up and stuff like that. And whipping charts stopped again. Um, and yeah, so at that point we'd started, well, to move and things were getting a bit more difficult and I was spending every two minutes packing and stuff like that and trying to teach as well because I'm in the middle of my teach training. So it was really difficult to get a video done essentially. So I can only apologise for that one. But then things got even worse because then we moved in and it was like I couldn't, I had nowhere to film because we didn't have furniture and we were waiting for carpet that even though we um, bought end of October and they told us that it would be the end of November then carpet like fitting appointments um, weren't available and we ended up having to wait till mid January so we've only just like a couple weeks ago got the carpet fitted which is a story in itself to tell you guys about um, but then um, we were waiting because of that to get any other furniture so I had nowhere to film on so I couldn't even film a video for you guys even if I wanted to because I just had nowhere to do it so there was no videos but I did film um, a few unboxings before we moved which are the ones that you saw you know them like four or five or whatever it was um previously so you might have been thinking oh like some of you may have known that i've moved out and like well why is her brother video still on her blooming bed um and that was because of that i filmed them before but i just never had chance before to edit them and put them up i didn't have the time every waking minute has been spent like trying to sort my house out um, so I'm just trying to clear stuff up because I bet you it does seem like what on earth's happening like Alicia's not being consistent I don't know what what she's doing so I do appreciate all of your patience and um, I can tell you now I've got a desk um, I've got a craft room it is sorted although uh, it will need to be taken out and then re put back in which I will get on to in a minute um, but I do have one now and I've filmed today I've been sat this is the first day I could I've been sat 
really 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 trying hard to get a well a few videos sorted for you guys and to get back on schedule so from now on I'm hoping you'll have a whip and chat on a Monday same as it should be unless something obviously comes up <clears throat> that's take precedent but that's you know will be a very very rare occurrence so you should have a whip and chat on a Monday and then two other videos a week uh, with Saturday usually being an unboxing or if I don't have an unboxing it'll be something else um, so I just thought I'd let you know where where we stand but anyway the, what you really want to know is how did the house move go and stuff like that um, so I'm guessing well I guess you guys could guess it was it was very stressful with me not being like active I wasn't even really active on social media I wasn't dying painting this is like the tiny little bit down painting this is the only jam painting I've done a week so I'm still not there with like the consistent like level of diamond painting essentially but at least doing whipping chats now I can commit to like let's say the hour or the 40 minutes or however long that I do a whipping chat for like at least I'm committing to a little bit of time diamond painting oh I didn't even tell you did I I'm working on the people's princess by Mandy Fanzano right now <laughs> it would it would help if I told you what painting it was um I've not got enough. I'm just going to single place these because I've not really got enough to keep multi-place and so let's just single place them and then I can fill up my tub. I like to do that because that there'll probably be little bits of crap that I'll just not want to put back in the pot. So I try and use up all of the pot and then I'll refill it but anyway so what was I saying I can't remember yeah I've, I've not been done painting because I've been so busy so <clears throat> essentially we got the keys on the 26th of uh, November and the original plan, oh that's not sticky there, um, the original plan was to actually uh, come into the house, we thought that the carpets would be delivered because um, we were told end of November, so because we got the keys on the 26th, we're thinking right we need to rip up the carpets, we need to get the paint we decorator in which is John, uh, James's brother-in-law. Um, and because he was doing, I mean, we do paint ourselves and we have painted rooms of the house, but because um, we needed the entire house done, he can do it in like two days, like with, with a hand. He had one other person with him. Um, so he got it all done in a weekend, like Saturday, Sunday, which we're very grateful for. But uh, we were like we need to get it done so the carpets can get in and so we did that and then we are waiting for the call about the carpets and it weren't coming so we were ringing them constantly and then they were like oh well they're not being delivered now until the 10th of um, December so we're like, right, so we'll get them the 10th of December. They're like, no, no, we mean deliver to us. We're like, well, when are you going to deliver them to us and fit them? And they're like, well, we can't uh, book fitting until they've arrived. And we were like, well, why not? Like, we've waited so long. Like, why can't you just book the next fitting date after the 10th for us that because we don't do it so anyway we said well we've taken up our carpets they've offered us <clears throat> James needs to actually do it because the link that they sent for the refund doesn't work but they've offered us 10% back of the carpets 
which is paid for the fitting essentially so at least they have done that but we weren't very happy and then next thing you know it was oh they're now looking to be delivered on the 13th then they came on the 13th and they're like right we don't have any fitting until mid-January well like you have to be joking so <clears throat> at this point we'd still not moved in because we we're waiting for carpet so we could you know put the mattress down because we were just going to sleep on the mattress on the floor till our bed arrived that already like the bed had been done and come into stock um, and we were just waiting for for the carpet so the bed could be delivered. And as well as the bed, because we got the bed and the dining table and chairs from the same place. So all of that was waiting on the carpets, essentially. And so we were just fuming and at that point we turned around and we said, okay, we're not paying for how because our, like, our mortgage payment started. We were like, we're not paying for a house we're not living in. We're not having our house just sat there. Where, at this point, we were farting about like every day, coming to a house and then going back to mum and dad's to sleep. So what we did is we bought a really, really cheap uh, bed frame from Argos, like a metal bed frame. <clears throat> to put our bed on so our mattress didn't have to go on the hard dusty floor and then because the living room was concrete flooring it was really really dusty so we got dust sheets and put them down and got bean bags so we could sit down and we did that for well till the carpets came and our plan was so we eventually got a date for the carpets i think it was the 13th and so I told the um the company that we got the bed from that right thirteenth is when the carpets are being delivered. So can we have delivery ASAP after that, please? And so they set a delivery date for us, and then which was that was this Tuesday, whatever date that was. So carpets got delivered last Thursday and then bed got delivered Tuesday or whatever. Um, and I'm trying to get this drilled. There we go. Sorry about it. So uh, I'm all excited, but I'm I'm out at uni and James is. Um, he booked the day off work to stay while the carpets were being delivered and um, they come sorry I need to fill this pot up so it's uh, 3799 so I've got to find it first um, So I'm out, I come home, that's 3799, but do I have any already opened? Yeah, that one. So I come home from uni, um, because it was a uni day, and I walk through the door and I look and my heart just sank and I'm like, James looks at me and goes, you don't like it, do you? And I get, I look at him, gone out, and I said, it's green. We've got green carpets. Like, why have we got green carpets? James is like, it's not green. I'm like, I'm telling you, this is green. This is not the colour that I picked. And he was like, are you sure? And I'm like, I'm positive mate, this is not the carpet that I ordered and he still didn't believe me it was green, I don't know how he didn't spot it green, I mean it is, it's a 
metallic -y green, granted, it's a, gr it's a great, so it's got like a grey tinge, you know how carpet's got like a sheen if it goes one way. It does have that little bit of a sheen, right? So I do get, you know, it's not really in your face green, right? But it's still green. Um, and like all of my furniture and stuff is grey and it doesn't go at all. Like everybody that's seen has gone, yeah, it's nice green, but it doesn't go. I'm like, no, it doesn't because I've, I've bought everything based on the colour carpet like that I've expected. So I went on to my order confirmation mainly to to get the order number so when I phone up I'm like uh, this is the order number you've ordered like I've got green carpets and then I notice that the name of the colour the, so the picture next to it is grey because it's got a picture on the invoice but the colour on the order is called Olive Grove and obviously olive is a greeny colour so if and, but I never, do you know what, I never paid attention to that before because I just saw the, the colour of the picture. But still, I know that I didn't ask about the colour in the shop. So, and the colours are numbers, so it doesn't say the name, it says the number. And to be fair, we didn't look in the shop because the woman was with us and she turned it over and looked at the number. Um, we just said, this is the carpet we want. And the carpet we wanted was on the top of the pile and this olive grove was on the bottom so it can't have been like she even just accidentally turned over two. Um, so, essentially, she's put in the wrong carpet. And the, th the thing that's annoyed us the most, because I was worried actually that because it's on the order number and we've had like months that we could have well, they'd have had to reorder it anyway and then send the other one back. It would have just not been fitted. Which, in a way, is, is the only good thing to come out of the fact that they did fit it is the fact now we have carpets. They're just not right. So we will have to move everything out again. And I've also got furniture now because we couldn't wait any longer. Um, so that is a pain. But at least in the meantime, I have... So, like here, look, sorry, just detour. Like these, all they need, they're not stuck, they just need you to just scrape down it. But it's just because it's a oh, fresh pot, and I usually put my stopper back in while I do this. And then I only, uh, I take off the stopper, but I haven't, so I'm just getting it all over, but I'll just pop them away because they are a bit static -y as well that's another thing when it's a new tray because I've not used this tray yet you get static so multiple things but you just have to it's with any tray you just have to a little, like get used to it for that little bit of time but anyway um yeah so it's going to be a pain but at least we've got carpet and then I could put furniture in my house because if 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 we'd have spotted it, they'd have to reorder, it'd have had to take even longer without carpet and it'd have been horrendous and they've made the boob like because we even asked them to double check in this shop uh, because and I, I don't, I know that I talked to you about going and getting the sofa and carpet I can't remember if I mentioned about they nearly ordered us the wrong colour sofa as well which was I think the same issue that they had the woman was just useless but we asked them there and then when they'd almost done the sofa because we spotted that because I did know the the colour name of the sofa I knew it was called Pebble uh, because I'd been eyeing up that sofa for weeks whereas the carpet we sort of chose that day so I did I did know the sofa and I spotted it and we asked them there and then can you double check the carpet? 
yeah yeah we'll check it they've evidently not double checked the carpet so we that's the reason i'm so annoyed because we did we did ask and we did say can you just double check and they didn't but the guy especially the manager that was ended up dealing with us um he was absolutely brilliant and he admitted fault um and my battery is going to die again in a sec um so yeah it's getting fixed anyway let me finish up the carpet talk it is getting fixed but we have to wait like a month and they are gonna take this carpet up bin it and put the new one down free of charge so that's the issue with the carpet um but yeah i've only talked for like 23 minutes 24 minutes so what i'll do is i'll put my camera on charge for a few minutes i need to order a new battery so i can swap them but i'll put my camera on charge for a few minutes and then um i'll carry on working on this and then we'll talk when it is charged up a little bit again sound good i'll see you in a few okay so um I've done a couple more colours, um, but it's starting to get like quite dark outside, so um, <clears throat> it's like three o'clock. So I am going to just carry on and go until this battery finishes because, yeah, <laughs> that's all I've got. It's probably not overly charged. I, for I forgot to look at how far it would charge, but it's not been on charge for that long, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so we'll go, we'll go until it, it like runs out um, and we'll keep chatting. So I told you about the carpets. So yeah, that was, it was just, you know, it is what it is. And I think I just stopped at that point. I was upset at first, but then when they said that they would sort it for us, and that they told us that they've reordered it and you know everything i stopped worrying like and now i don't really care um i don't want the carpets that are down right now but i don't like i can wait it's actually really comfortable because we've got carpet throughout the house it feels better and yeah so i just said to james though like i'm not waiting any longer for my furniture i need it and i want to start feeling like it's a home and starting to get things things in and the settee now as well is going to come before the carpets because so with the settees they can only hold them for like up to a week like max so um it says that it's coming from the the distribution so it should be here next week on the 3rd of february so you know in a couple of weeks we should have a settee which is really nice and um, I can't wait for that but obviously that's before the carpets and I, I said that to the guy I said we're not going to be able to move the settee anywhere for the carpet delivery and he said well that's our fault so we'll have to pay for the fitter to move the settee if it comes before I was like okay as long as you're aware I mean because it is their fault like if they can't hold the settee well that's just tough titty poo poo pants, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it is what it is with that. And then, so we went to Ikea last week. We had to go to the Leeds one, because the Sheffield one had like nothing. It's like hardly got anything in stock. It's so annoying. But we went and we got all my furniture for in here, in the craft room. So once the carpets are down, and the right colour I can do a like a craft room tour for you guys it's craft room slash office so it's got the printer in here um it to be fair I've done it so the reason I say craft room slash office is walking into it you, you don't really think oh this is crafty I mean you can see my cricut on the side and I've got like 
my trays and stuff on my pegboard so I've got a pegboard in front of me um but you know the desk area it's not it's not like full of stuff and yeah yeah I think it looks a bit of a mixture it looks it looks a mixture between a craft room and an office um because if James needs to use it for an office he also like has to have the right you know to to use it um so the sides like once i've finished like diamond paint for example it'll go well the the diamond paint i've got a really really long desk the diamond paint can go to the side but my diamond paintings are stored in a wardrobe um completely separate like it isn't a diamond paint room it isn't a craft room um as such but it's definitely it's got my stuff in there to do it and it has got my diamond painting accessories it's got my stuff to put things away i've got my boxes with my spare drills like it has stuff so it's a really cute space um and i think yeah i just it's my favorite room of the house to be fair it's a bit cold the heating's gone off now so but it should be coming back on later i can't remember what time it's meant to come on um but yeah it's on a timer so i'll 100 percent be you know giving you guys a craft room tour like i said when the carpets are in but yeah i'm very very happy with things right now and it'll be even better when the settee is here and then it'll be so much better when the carpets are grey. Um, I'll be really happy. Um, in terms of teacher training, I did my first placement. That all went fine. And then... I am now, so we're currently just at university for the last week, just like getting things prepared for the second placement. Because on second placement you're not at uni at all. So it'll be like literally 16 weeks where I'm basically just working in a school and I'm not, I've got to get an assignment done but I've not got the support of like going into university at, um, on a Friday. It is Monday to Friday at school. But in a way, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I just can't wait to get into school and teach again. Like, it makes me happy. So, I mean, it makes me a bit stressed as well. But it definitely makes me happy. Like, um, it's, it's, it's where I'm meant to be. I've just got a get my act together with some stuff that I've got a bit behind on um, and let me just straighten these up a bit so I'm just using a stainless steel straightener pen so I'm just using one of my pens with the straightener on it so yeah I, I need to get my act together and just finish off stuff that I've got a bit behind on it's writing up stuff like it's not doing it it's writing it up that i've got behind on because who likes to write up stuff nobody um so yeah i need to do that and then i also i keep an eye out for jobs because when i see it like jobs have started coming out for teaching uh, for next September start so I do just need to keep an eye out for schools that I want to work in I've got kind of a, a thought about some I have more of a list of schools I don't want to work in than I do the ones that I do um, but yeah I've just got to keep an eye out and make sure that I uh, know if they've come out. I'm just going to do this single placing right now. So, 
So still to do today, what to pack orders, I've got to plan a lesson for Monday. Um, oh, I'm tired. And then tomorrow, just do a bit of a clean up. I did the ironing yesterday because I was I was still at, like at uni, but I was working from home. It is Saturday today. I'm filming this, so I sat when I was listening to stuff. I was doing the ironing, so I thought, oh, if I do that now, then I don't have to do it at the weekend. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. So much. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just very tired. Oh, my, um, my bed, my bed is very nice, very comfortable, but very big. It's actually like, probably like some people would say too big living, but it's my dream bed. So I've, I've basically had, like, when I was picking it, I could have got a bed a bit more appropriate size or I could have got my dream bed on. I picked my dream bed. Um, and I, I hoped it would be a little bit smaller than what it was. But it isn't. I mean, I can still get around it and everything. But it's, uh, it's just a bit more of a squeeze. I have to go sideways. Because um, I'm the one that's like the furthest away from the door. So when I want to uh, get out of the bedroom, I either have to climb across the bed or go sideways. Um, which, you know, like, my mum was like, oh, Alicia and James, James was really not happy with me um, for it. But I said, well, you're not the one having to do it, so stop whinging. He says, it looks stupid. It doesn't look stupid. It does look big for the room, but... We're only in a bed to sleep, so I actually really don't care. Um, and it's me, you know, it's me that's got a pub with it, so people can just keep their opinions to themselves. Because um, that's the thing, like, you know, and I, granted, people say, well, don't ask for opinions, but I'm not asking for opinions. People just feel the need to give opinions. Like, people want to see your stuff. And my mum wanted to come around and see it. James's parents probably want to come around and see it. They haven't yet, so I'm not saying anything about them. But <clears throat> I've not asked for opinions. Do you know what I mean? That's my point. I haven't asked for anybody's opinion. I've just said this is what I've got because I like it and that's all that matters. So I really hope my camera battery lasts and I can place my one of my nice diamonds like the big ones for you. Um so let's do arrow next. Nearly done with this section. Um oh, wrong pen. But yeah, I'm super doopity doopity. Um started to go into school so that's not next week so next week I'm still at uni um I don't think I've got anything in particular on I'm trying to think got you in the, the evenings oh I know what I can say to you is I'm restarting my diet again I know you're probably thinking at least you say this like every single week um, yeah, I know, but I am trying to lose weight again. I ended up, oh, that's the thing, I didn't tell you guys, I had COVID. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know why, that's like, oh my God, why did I not tell you? Right. But this is today's society that we live in where COVID is a big topic. But anywho, um, yeah, no, I lost five pounds because I had COVID. That was, I got it on New Year's Eve. 
I did a lateral flow the following Monday because I didn't have any and there was a shortage. So I had to wait to do a lateral flow. I isolated obviously from from New Year's Eve because I had symptoms. Um, and I did a lateral flow because at that point it was kind of like do a lateral flow and if it comes back positive then get a PCR. So I did that. Uh, the PCR test took forever to come back. Like by the time I got it back I had like two more days to isolate. Um, but yes, I ended up with Covid and so did James and so did my mum and dad and my brother. Although my brother's came back negative, but he totally had it. So I, I honestly don't understand because he was just as ill as the rest of us. I think there's some people that it doesn't show up with. A genuine, that that is like a genuine belief because there's no way he, he didn't have it. He was so ill. So I do, I genuinely think there's some people it doesn't show up with. And my mum, hers, she was like on the border. Like... She was doing some tests that were negative and then some tests she was positive. Like, it was crazy. Um, and that was, I'm talking PCR as well because my mum has to regularly submit PCR tests because she's a carer. So she was, that she didn't believe she had it because she, she'd been submitting and she'd just got some results from a PCR test that said negative. And she's like, I, I don't understand, like, how it's saying positive on this lateral flow and I'm like but mum you have got like Covid symptoms I'm pretty certain you've got it I think that something's just wrong with the PCR test like because they used to I don't know if they still do because I've never had a negative PCR test because I've never sent one before I think they used to come back even if it said negative it was like if you still have symptoms you still, or I think it was if you were still in contact with somebody. So if you got in contact with somebody, uh, if you were close contact, you had to take a PCR test. And then it even came back saying, but if you still like, you are still in contact with somebody, you still have to isolate because you could still have it. Oh no, right, so the camera battery is... Uh, going off so you're not going to see me finish this section I'm getting the flashy light again I knew it would happen because it takes forever to charge which is why I keep saying I need to get a second one so I can just swap them out 100% but I'm going to do that number four now so I'm going to show them there you go, look at that. Right, so I will turn it off just so you can see. That is that section. How good does that look? Obviously I've just got these little bits here. But anyway, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and of course watching. And until next time guys, see you in the next one.